Yeah, this is my Amritsar, you know it very well. And now, from yesterday, we have started a class like uh, through this WhatsApp, through this mobile, to give you some knowledge about your new books and syllables also. Because as we all know that due to this coronavirus, uh, this shutting down is still continuing for so many days. So this is our main intention that we want to make you some, uh, you, we want to make you engage with all these lessons. So that when the school will reopen, so that time it will be very easy and comfortable for us. So now I'm going to start the lesson chapter one that is the invention of shoes invention of shoes so this word first before starting the lesson first we have to we'll learn what is the meaning of invention invention it is the noun invention it is a noun. A noun. What is the meaning of invention? That means discovery. Its meaning is discovery. So its verb is invention. Uh, sorry, this verb is invent. This verb is invent. That means discover. To discover. So discover means to find out the new things. So, how was the shoe invented? So, I'm going to say something about the writer also. This story is written by our great poet named Rabindranath Tagore. As you know that we have already studied about Rabindranath Tagore in our previous classes. He was the great poet of India and he has composed so many poems stories especially he is known as for his uh, prize the Nobel prize he had won in the year of 1913 for literature and apart from that he had a big interest about the children that's why he has written so many poems and stories for the children so similarly this story is written by the great poet Rabindranath Tagore so now I'm going to start the first paragraph So I'm going to start the first paragraph that in this first paragraph we will see that there is a king whose name is Hogu. There was a king whose name is Hogu. So Hogu, he had a problem. When you read this first paragraph, he had a problem that every time his feet, it was becoming dirty because of this dust. So what does it do? So he called his minister. Here is a sentence. One morning he summoned his minister and said, Summon. S U N N O N E summon. This is a verb. Its meaning is to call. To call. Bulana. So he called his all the ministers and the courtiers. Courtiers means the counselors also sit with the king in the palace, and they also help. They also help king to give some ideas and some suggestions. And this all the courtiers were gathered there. Now he is saying that Goburai. He is calling Goburai, who was one of the favorite minister for him. So he calls Goburai and says that I stayed all night thinking why should the dust dirty my well feet whenever I step on the ground. So he's saying that whenever he is putting his feet on the ground, his feet are covered with dust. That is why he is saying that all you people are only concerned with pocketing your fat salaries. That means this Ministers and the coaches, they were getting very good salaries from king. But when you read this sentence, we come to know that they were not aware of the problems of the kingdom. So that's why he is saying 
you are only concerned with pocketing your fat salaries you have no concern for the king or the kingdom or the problems that bother me means the king is not happy bother the word bother 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 means upset upset so the king is the king seems very upset here because the courtiers and the ministers they are not interested i mean they were not interested they were not serious about the problems and they were not interested to solve those problems so that's why the king he was very upset with their this i mean unfaithfulness they were not serious so now the king is saying that you have no concern they were not concerned about the, all these things now he is now the king he is giving an order you must put an end to this at once to put an end put an end means to finish to finish put an and means to finish so the king is saying the whatever the problem is in the kingdom in the palace you must finish it at once you have to completely the king now he orders his ministers and courtiers and he says okay, that you must finish this you have to pull an end at once otherwise everyone will be punished no one will be respected from my punishment so now why the, why does the king wants to punish them because they were not concerned they were not concerned that is why the king he is saying that what what is the saying in the uh, paragraph that the problems that bother me that means you are not worried about the problems you are not that means worried that means you are not worried about these problems now i'm going to revise once again this that the king hobu called his ministers and courtiers raja hobu ne apne mantriyon ko apne jitne bhi bharatya ke un sabhi ko bulaya apne mahal par aur apne jo mantri the mahamantri jo gobu rai the unse ye kaha कि मैं रात भर सो नहीं पाया मैं रात भर ये सोचता रहा कि आप लोग कोई भी इस महल के इस राज्य के जितने भी आप मंत्री हैं जितने भी आप लोग भार दहा रहे हैं जितने भी यहाँ के कर्मचारी हैं अपने महल के काम की ओर आप लोग उतनी बड़ी ध्यान से आप ये ध्यान नहीं दे रहे इस काम पे जिस काम से मुझे बहुत दुख हो रहा है और मुझे लगता है कि आप लोग इस काम में आप लोग उतने गंभीरता से इस चीजों को आप लोग नहीं ले रहे हैं इसीलिए जो समस्या है समस्या वही है कि जब भी मैं पैर रखता हूं जमीन पे कि ये धूल मेरा पैरों पे ढक जाते हैं इसीलिए इस काम को आप लोग तुरंत इसको समाप्त करो इस समस्या को तुरंत आप सभी मिलकर इसको समाप्त करो वरना मैं आप लोगों को सजा देने वाले हूं और इस सजा से कोई भी बच नहीं सकता है नो कैन नो वन कैन सेव फ्रॉम माई पनिशमेंट सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू द सेकेंड पैराग्राफ सो गोबू राय वॉन्डर इन वॉर इट गोबू राय यू वॉन्डर एंड ही वॉज वॉर इट बिकॉज ही वॉज द आई मीन वॉट डू यू थिंक फ्रॉम दिस सेंटेंस गोबू राय वॉन्डर इन वॉर इट वी डोंट वी कुड नॉट सी एनी other names of other ministers but only goburai because goburai he was the prime minister in king's court he was the chief of the ministers that's why he was so worried and he pondered and perspired he pondered pondered means pondered means to think deeply to think deeply to think deeply so he thought very deeply because he was he was worried if we can't solve this problem if we can't if we are not able to bring any solutions 
the king the king will punish us. So he was so worried and perspired with sweated. It means so still a lot of pasina pasina ho ki wo pasina se bheeg gaye thi. Then what did he do? He calls all the pandits. Pandits means the priests. Pujaris, those who perform this pujas and all. He calls all the pandits, but pandits are aware also, they were also un unable to find out the solution. That's why their faces changed. When you read the sentence, the pandit faces turned pale. Now, the courtiers, knights turned sleepless. Courtiers. Night turns sleepless. That means they could not sleep. They could not get to bed properly. Because when we have some problems, when we feel, when we think something deeply, very seriously, we can't sleep. Similarly, all the courtiers, they could not get to bed properly. Their nights were sleepless. Olo soling by. In the kitchen, the cooking stopped. Now, in the kitchen, we cook the food. Cook means there are two types of cook. One is bhat and one is noun. So in this sentence we see this is a noun. The cooks they stop cooking. Cooks they stop cooking in the kitchen. Now in the castle. Castle. Castle means fort. Hilla. Mahal. We, we can say palace also. So in that castle, everyone they start they started crying. Abus Mahal me kal tak jo khushi se the, lekin after that after the announcement after a great announcement by the king, they all they started crying. So thank you so much. These are very. Uh, I, have, uh, I taught you from two paragraphs, so tomorrow we will continue from another paragraph. Thank you so much.